let's talk about quick search which is this little icon here it's got a magnifying glass and a lightning bolt quick search that's right you can see our mouse here at the top right we can either click to open the menu or if you hover your mouse you'll see a keyboard shortcut we're on a mac command plus k and quick search opens up right away on training view you want to get used to mastering these search boxes because they will speed up everything you do and make a really lean and efficient process process for yourself as you can see on quick search we are searching for tools and functions on the chart so as an example let's say we want to hide the bid and ask here as you can see on this chart we are currently looking at the ask and bid but you know the market's closed it's after 4 p.m so let's just show tgt in the price well we go to quick search type in bid we have bid and ask uncheck and just like that they're gone so rather than right clicking on the chart and going to settings or perhaps going down to you know uh, find your log scale button or even create an alert or some drawing tools you can use quick search to get to anything instantly now here's where the new uh, features of quick search really get started and this is for the people who love fundamental analysis who are interested in doing deep dives into actual companies or to get some brief overviews of those companies well if you go to quick search and type in financials you're going to see financials summary here and when you click financial summary you are now presented with an overview of the company you're looking at you can click to see its financial statements you can click to see its financial statistics its dividends its earnings its revenue all right here so you're now seeing some really high level and super important financial information about the company that you are charting after all this is the information that really matters when it comes to companies especially if you're an investor because this is the underlying these are the underlying stats of that business this is how you find value or to realize if it's a viable business or not with revenue with a real product with fans with growth it's all going to be right here now if for example you have your watch list open as well watch how cool this is we're going to press command k we're going to search financial summary and now we can do both at the same time we have our financial summary here we have our watch list here it gets better because if we now go through our watch list the financial summary will load up for us each and every time so you can start to see how much information you can start to pick up and learn really quickly build a watch list if you don't know how to build a watch list we have plenty of videos uh, on our youtube page there's tips in our help center and we've published some articles from our trading view account on trading view but you can use quick search now so we'll just do it again type in financials we see financial summary and you can use quick search now to go through your watch list at any point in time to learn more about the companies that you follow or the companies that you're invested in or even the companies that you're looking to trade because after all if you understand the underlying business of the companies that you're trading you will better know what exactly you are trading maybe for example you think the underlying business is really poor and you want to short a stock well that's quite interesting because now you know you're not only shorting a stock potentially based on the chart and the technicals but also because you know the underlying business is not sound at all or maybe you're long a stock perhaps you are very interested in being long apple and you're trading it in a bullish trend if you use this tool you can better understand whether or not you're trading a company that also has a fundamental business that supports that bullish trend in fact this earnings tab can be quite interesting because there is a forecast tab so you can actually see now in this example we're looking at nvidia and we can see that the earnings estimates for nvidia all the way out to 2024 are up and to the right and if we close this we can see nvidia's chart is also up and to the right so this is an interesting aspect of markets to examine and once again once you open up quick search type in financials you have your watch list open here to to the to the right this is your watch list tab after all you can click through and go through every 
publicly traded company in your watch list to better understand how those companies are performing from a fundamental perspective. One more quick tip before we wrap up. This is for those who, for example, maybe missed earnings. So if you missed an earnings report, and so once again, quick search, type earnings, show earnings. Say you missed in an earnings report and you, you know, you, you, you quickly want to find out what happened at that earnings report. So you, let's say, for example, you own Apple and you see earnings here. So that means they reported earnings. The green means that they beat, the red means that they missed. Well, you probably already know you can click this green icon to get a quick baseline for how that earnings report went. But in addition, if you use the quick search tool, type in financial summary, now you can catch up about that earnings statement just as quick because you have not only the most recent earnings report, that's here, but you have all of the historical earnings reports now to compare that to as well. In addition, you have plenty of drop-down options to dive into the earnings report and some of the more nuanced details that maybe other investors or traders might have missed. So you missed the earnings report, don't worry, because you head to the chart, you use quick search, you head to the financial summary, and you can catch up super fast with all of this financial data. So thanks so much for watching. We hope that you use the quick search tool, not only for the financials summary that we showed you, but also uh, all these other aspects. So if we were to type in stock split, show splits, zoom out, Apple had a stock split, there it is, here's the S, click. You can use quick search to find all of this information really quickly. Thanks for watching, as always, leave us a comment, ask us a question, we are listening to all of your feedback all the time, and we will get back to you in a matter of days.